Dua Lipa. We have to talk about Houdini by Dua Lipa because the 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 track, the track's probably better than the music video. Let's be fair. The music video is a bit mad because, again, maybe, uh, you know, I'm not the most graceful person in the world, but I, I've danced for the majority of my life. I used to dance quite a lot when I was younger. I used to be in classes and shit for it and stuff. And I, you know, I think of myself as a pretty good dancer. And let's be honest, she moves like a fucking transit van. Now, has she improved a lot from that viral meme of her kind of swinging her hips on the stage somewhere? I think it was Coachella or something, right? That she got kind of rightfully bullied for. And then she went back to the drawing board and started actually taking lessons and stuff. It's just way better when she's doing choreography. Fair enough. But let's be honest, that music video for Houdini with her dancing and stuff, she does move like a transit van she just doesn't have this she's not very graceful it's kind of ungangly and weird and stuff and again it's not her fault it kind of is what it is but take away the music video which is a bit awkward but which is odd i'm saying this because i think you know the market that she's actually appealing to which is gay guys and stuff and what i've been seeing on social media they absolutely love the video i saw one gay guy in particular saying oh this is going to be the video that's going to be played on loop at the gay um pre-session pre-sesh before you go out type of thing so clearly they love it but i personally think the the video is fucking awful and she doesn't dance that great and she doesn't she moves like a fucking you know like a two-footed fucking um deer or something it's really odd anyway before that that aside sorry the track houdini itself masterful it's absolutely incredible it's so fucking good and i realized when i was checking the fucking genius stats of it guess who produced it Yes, you guessed it, Kevin Parker, a.k.a. Tem Impala. And of course, alongside Danny L. Howe, who is obviously one half of PC Music and who, I'm not mistaken, produced one of my favourite Caroline Palachek tracks called Billions. It all comes around full circle. He, he produced Billions and I think he also did a few other, you know, big tracks for Caroline Palachek over the years as well. But those two people, you know, Tame Impala, who I've been a fan of since the day they first fucking dropped. I love everything Kevin Parker does. Um, if anything, Houdini makes, you know, actually makes me sound like, I was just thinking, what was that track that Tame Impala did with um, Little Yatty back in the day? Um, the remix for it, though. What was it? Tame Impala and Little Yatty. They did like a remix. Oh, was it called, was it Borderline? It might have been Borderline. No, it's, it's okay. It's the album Slow Rush. I think it was the track. I don't know which one, which one it was, though. I think it was a track of it was an album of remixes. So let me see if I can find it here. Bear with me a second. There we go. Slow Rush remixes, and it was a uh, Breathe Deeper. That's the one. So Houdini sounds a little bit like Breathe Deeper. So I should have clocked it before, but it sounded so di like once I saw the name, it made sense, but it didn't sound like a quintessential Taming Power track. If you, if you get me, so maybe there was a lot of fifty fifty collaboration between um Danielle and Kevin Parker in terms of producing the track, but. God damn it, man. When that beat, when it goes in, oh, so fucking good. And the thing about Duet Leaper as well, I think it's similar to Doja Cat. As an artist, maybe not the most incredible artist in the world. You know, she's not gonna, she's not, she, you know, she's not, um, what you, how'd I say it? It's like a Doja Cat in terms of like, even though she's not incredible, incredible she still leaps and bounds better than everybody else. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Like she doesn't hold a candle to Madonna or something, right? Fair enough. No one's, you know, again, it's a, it's a fucking incredible high bar to hold someone to anyway. But she's still so much better than her contemporaries that it she just reminds you subtly with this little throwaway. Because you know, if this is a track that she put out as like a, hey, this is a single for an up-and-coming untitled mixtape. So up-and-coming untitled album. Can you imagine the heat is that going to be on that album when it eventually drops? She's been on vacation all over the world. She's been walking on. She's been walking on fucking fashion week runway, um, catwalks and stuff. She's been just living, enjoying life. You know, um, swapping saliva with men all over the world and stuff like. She's been living life good. So she's probably come back with some nice experiences, some vibes, some music, some tones, some some whatever she's gonna put into the album. So you know. This just might be one of those throwaways, but it's in an album full of bangers. So I can only imagine what it's going to be sounding like when it eventually does drop. But like I said before, like she's not even, again, for me, not to the level of like, you know, those old contemporaries that even a Kylie Minogue doesn't come close. But 
she's still so much better than the, than the rest of her peers. Similar to that Doja Cat. Doja Cat might not be as good as she thinks she is, but she's still better than most of the girls in the class without a shadow of a doubt. And it's not even close. And Houdini is a good example for it for Dua Lipa. Like, I've been banging this single, like, since it dropped. Oh, my God, it's so fucking good. And I can't wait to work it into a mix. I actually got some mix ideas for the track. And it kind of made me think a little bit of what were the tr mix ideas I had here. Um, it kind of made me think of the obviously the famous track. Um, no, I think it's is it 117? Yeah, it's um, uh, Love Will Save the Day by Whitney Houston, uh, Papa Was a Rolling Stone, George Michael, um, Kim Appleby, Don't Worry, um, Shirley, Raff, Shirley Lee Raphael, so Sh Shirley Lee Ralph, um, In the Evening. There's a few of them that kind of have that kind of vibe, but oh it just sounds so good i hope someone does a good remix to it maybe god jansen might jack it and do a god jansen refix on it because it deserves it um you know who do a really good remix of this actually tiger and woods i'm not too sure if they're still putting out stuff because they were my go-to new disco um you know remixer and dj to kind of listen to i'm not too sure if they even do stuff anymore because i haven't seen a production for them in a long time but tiger and woods if they did something with them as a remix for Houdini, that would sound absolutely incredible. What, had they put a last single? Oh, they did. They put out a single in 2013 called Cotton and Silk. It came out in March, actually. Okay, this is so old. What does it sound like? Okay, whatever, but you get the gist in it. So um, hopefully we get some good remixes from them because I feel like that's one thing that's been lacking a lot when it comes to these good pop singles like you know obviously Kylie Minogue Padam came out I don't think there's a good mix of that even there's another good track on that album called Tension that doesn't get enough credit that there's no good remixes of that um I hope that someone puts out a good remix of this even I think of the old Caroline Palachuk album there wasn't enough good remixes of her tracks as well there needs to be more because a lot of the pop girls out there aren't of course don't hold a candle to the legends but they're putting out some decent singles they deserve some good fucking remixes i wish i could produce to a level that would make sense so i could put out my own remixes for them but and it doesn't have to be something too crazy it just needs to kind of hold the essence of the track itself but just make it punchier make it faster do you know what i mean like dun, 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 dun. like oh honestly houdini is so good check out heaven already do a leap of houdini out now on all digital streaming platforms if you haven't checked it out what are you doing what are you doing